It is my pleasure to introduce a special and important addition to convocation ceremonies that reminds us all of the ancestral lands of the First Peoples of Canada. This song is called a victory song that will start us off in a good way at every one of our convocation ceremonies. Today, especially the National Indigenous Peoples Day, I'd like to recognize the rich diversity, history, resilience, and cultures of Indigenous peoples. Over the past hundreds of years, there have been many victory songs that have been passed down through generations. These songs have a special power to them and therefore carry such great meaning as this song correlates with the treaties signed with the Crown and the First Peoples of Canada. The treaties were agreements signed as a foundation for ongoing relationships in understanding one another so that we live together in a respectful relationship as we move forward together to advance reconciliation. We present this song to uplift the spirit and, in, and to encourage all of us to come together to sing and dance in victory for the graduates' accomplishments. It is my pleasure today to introduce the victory song and I extend gratitude to our traditional singers and cultural ambassadors, Lyle Tatusis, Monty Sunchild, Al Crawford, Adrian Lachance, Colin Rain and Jade Tutusis, who have pre-recorded this victory song for the U of A convocation ceremonies. If you are able, please remain standing.
Whatsoever things are true, a promise made here at the University of Alberta over 100 years ago. Today we are gathered to celebrate this commitment to ourselves and to our community. We celebrate with all those who leave here today with their degrees. May you continue to seek truth. May you continue to serve in our global home. May you continue to grow in wisdom and understanding. And may you continue to uphold the university's values of integrity, freedom, and the equality and dignity of all persons to create a community filled with promise for the future and goodwill toward all. Please be seated. Welcome everyone to the University of Alberta and to, to this morning's convocation ceremonies. My name is Peggy Garrity and I have the great privilege of serving as Chancellor of the University of Alberta and conferring all of your degrees today. I'd like to acknowledge that the University of Alberta is located on Treaty 6 territory and the homelands of the Métis. In stating this, we must recognize our responsibility to work in relationship alongside First Nation and Métis people and their communities on our way forward and in good relations in uplifting the whole people for the next seven generations and the university for tomorrow. On behalf of the entire university community, I am delighted to welcome you to this convocation. It is an exciting day for all of us. It's also a unique day. You are the first graduating class to convocate from the Universiade Pavilion since 2005. When we were informed that the Jubilee Auditorium would not be available for convocation, we did what all of us have learned to do so well over the past few years. We pivoted. We explored options. We took another challenge in stride, and we found ways to transform the Butter Dome into what all of you see today. And what's most important about today's celebration is not the location, but it's about all of you. It's about our graduates, what you've accomplished, and all the hard work, determination, and perseverance that has brought you to this day. Graduates, we're very pleased that so many of your friends and family members could join us here today to celebrate your degrees. As you participate in today's ceremony, you are walking in the footsteps of many generations of scholars. And each of the traditions you see on the stage and throughout the ceremony today have special meaning and significance. Today's formal procession to the stage led by our chief marshal and the university mace originates with the procession of the Guild of Teachers. Such guilds in past centuries were dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge, just as our university is today. The many different academic gowns, hoods, and caps here on stage today reflect centuries of university tradition. As chancellor, I wear our University of Alberta colors of green and gold. The different colors of your own faculty hoods signify to everyone here and to our society the degree that you have earned. Your caps, those Oxford style mortarboards, may be considered a symbol of the scholar's independence and freedom. These symbols and traditions remind us of our connections with the past, but seeing your faces today and conferring your degrees is all about the future. It's about your futures and the future you will create for our communities and for the world. We will hear from a member of our Board of Governors and our University President. We will also hear from Renelta Arluk, who has accepted our invitation to receive an honorary doctorate of letters, our university's highest honor. An honorary degree recognizes inspiring role models and leaders, celebrating extraordinary achievements or remarkable service to society and I'm so proud to be able to recommend, to recognize and celebrate with Renelta Arluk today. Following the presentation of the honorary degree, we will begin with the recognition of your degrees. One of our deans will present you on behalf of the faculties and our president will guide you through your pledge to pursue the encouragement of learning and the public good. It will then be my great honor to admit you to your degrees and confer upon you all the rights, privileges, 
and responsibilities that come with being a university graduate. Then it'll be your turn to be up here on the stage with us. Each of you will cross the stage as your name is called, and I'm sure that for everyone here, that will be the most important part of today's ceremony. Your degree will actually be conferred as I congratulate you on the stage. And so please take a few moments to pause so I can greet everyone and every one of you. That moment will bind you and the University of Alberta together for all time. President and Chancellor, Vice Chancellor Bill Flanagan and Board of Governors Chair Kate Chisholm join me here in recognizing your accomplishments today. We're also joined by Elder Sharon Morin, who is here today to extend a special recognition to Indigenous members of our learning community. Distinguished guests on the convocation stage also include a number of community leaders and members of our academy. I'm very pleased that the deans and professors from our faculties of graduate and postdoctoral studies and arts are here to congratulate each graduate as you cross the stage. We're all here to welcome you to the University of Alberta alumni family. I hope you enjoy the day. I'd like to start by inviting greetings from our Board of Governors. Eminent Chancellor Garrity, President Flanagan, distinguished guests, graduands, families, and friends. I am extremely pleased to participate in this very special day on behalf of the Board of Governors to bring the Board's greeting and heartiest congratulations. Today is a day of celebration when the entire university community, along with your families and friends, gathers to celebrate you, the class of 2024. It's also a day to celebrate the university, which, by virtue of this marvelous milestone, has successfully provided you with the academic resources to support your engagement with issues and opportunities of 2024 and into the future. Collectively and cooperatively, you will be the generation that moves society forward in the arts, in the economy, in knowledge, discovery, and research. You've been changed over your years at the U of A. Knowledge you've gained here will enable you to thoughtfully address society's issues, influence others, and shape our collective future. According to Statistics Canada, less than a third of Canadians possess a university degree, and your wonderful achievement comes with responsibility. You're now the kind of citizen who will apply critical thought, share your knowledge, foster common understanding, and employ the skills you've gained here to better society in a competent, thoughtful, ethical, and engaged way today, tomorrow, and from now on. Our very heartfelt congratulations to you, your families, friends, and supporters. Be proud, savor your success, enjoy today, and we wish you the very best in your future. And go Oilers. And now I'd like to invite President Flanagan to address convocation. Thank you, Chancellor Garrity, and welcome, everyone. I'm delighted to be with you here today. And in particular, a warm welcome to our honorary degree recipient, Renelta Arlup. Welcome. And our many guests in the audience today, but above all, the graduating class of 2024. Crossing the stage today marks a tremendous achievement. And reaching this milestone is a culmination of years of personal growth and determination that no doubt saw many late nights and early mornings. And it reflects your skills and your talents. And during your studies, you faced many challenges and changes, including a global pandemic. Your ability to adapt, to find solutions, and support one another will forever be an important part of your university story. And your journey at one of the world's top universities has equipped you with the skills and knowledge to thrive as a global citizen in a rapidly changing world. Inquiry is at the heart of everything we do at the University of Alberta. We pose challenging questions and we are deeply curious about the world around us. From the lab to the classroom, you have been encouraged to share in this curiosity 
asking questions and building a better world for all. You have learned from and explored alongside some of the world's brightest minds, renowned researchers, professors, artists, and your fellow students. And curiosity fosters inspiration, innovation, and impact. It all begins with a simple question. What if? What if hydrogen could help us in our search for net zero energy solutions? What if we look to indigenous knowledge to help alleviate food security challenges? What if we explored blending the arts and technology to increase language fluency in children? What if we could use artificial intelligence to help find a cure for diabetes? Being curious and asking questions starts us on the pathway of discovery that can change lives and improve the world. And it isn't always easy to follow your curiosity. There may be roadblocks along the way, but your tenacity will serve you well just as it has for U of A researchers who have built a legacy of high-impact research, such as virologist Dr. Michael Houghton. His relentless curiosity resulted in the discovery of the virus, uh, hepatitis C virus, a cure, and a Nobel Prize in medicine in 2020. And likewise, curiosity finds no better home than in the Faculty of Arts, with its deep exploration of the humanities and social sciences, which are so crucial to understanding human culture, history, and behavior. The humanities and social sciences foster critical thinking, ethical reasoning, and effective communication. These areas of study enhance human empathy, preserve cultural heritage, and promote civic engagement. And by encouraging interdisciplinary connections and innovation, innovative problem solving, they contribute to personal growth and social progress. And ultimately, as demonstrated by the graduating class today, the humanities and social sciences help and create informed, responsible citizens capable of navigating and improving an increasingly complex world. And as you move forward in your next chapter, stay curious, seek new adventures, venture down pathways of possibility, explore every opportunity you can, continue to challenge yourself and find ways to improve the world. And as you graduate today, I hope that you will remember the strong connections you forged at the University of Alberta. Those bonds with your peers, fellow students and mentors can last a lifetime. Cherish and nurture these relationships. And as you move forward, each of you will forge your own story that embraces your potential. And as so many U of A alumni have, I know that you will lead with purpose and make meaningful contributions to your families communities, and professions. We are enormously proud of you and can't wait to see what you will accomplish as you move forward. We hope that you stay connected to the University of Alberta. We are curious to see the difference that you will make in the world. Congratulations and best wishes. Knowledge shall not be the concern of scholars alone. The uplifting of the whole people shall be its final goal. They inspire us all with their brilliance, creative force, and fervent desire to make the world a better place. I accept in the name of our poor people. Dream your dreams. It is possible to have a new kind of world. Those who receive an honorary degree from the University of Alberta set the highest standards of dedication and excellence for students and for society at large. It is a good day to be you. Remember who you are. Remember where you come from. And while their backgrounds and fields of endeavor vary widely, all are exceptional. 
Maybe it's best if I just speak from the heart. are you to be armed with one of the greatest educations in the world and to be living in this country at this very point in human history? We face today a clash of ignorances. You are who make the history. You are who create the future. U of A honorary degree recipients embody the university's vision to inspire the human spirit through outstanding achievements in learning, discovery, and citizenship in a creative community. Your generation will be called upon to balance what is now moving quickly to a tipping point. I think we are now the threshold of a new beginning. It is a spirit that is building one of the world's great universities for the public good. It is your attitude that will sustain you. It is not what happens to you, it is what you do with it. Go out and not simply change the world, go out and save the world. That is what I would seek you to do. Get the thumbs got now, wow. Me a geese ago. Today, June 21st, Nista Minaganak Ogoewa Mao Aski Otsi. With that being said, I'd like to introduce a momentous and meaningful addition to this convocation ceremony that reminds us all of our inherent ancestral lands of the First Peoples of Canada. We want to offer a gift from our heart to yours that brings in healing and celebration through the heartbeat of the drum by the way of our Cree honor ceremony, honor song. For the honorary degree recipient today, Renalta Arluk, and our chancellor, Peggy Garrity, and our graduates, to honor, I'd like, I'm honored to introduce our renowned song carriers and drum carriers today, Lyle Tatusis, Ian Crate, Shelby Agonies, and Kerry Ogamau. Next say, Matesa, Nipawi, please stand.
Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University of Alberta, it is my privilege to introduce Renelta Arluk for the degree of honorary degree of Doctor of Letters, our institution's highest honor. Renelta is Inu V. Aluk, Gwichin, Dene Sulina, and Cree from Fort Smith, Northwest Territories. An accomplished multidisciplinary artist, she has made significant contributions to decolonizing theater and advancing Indigenous representation in Canadian cultural institutions. In 2005, she became the first Indigenous woman and first Inuk to graduate from the University of Alberta's Bachelor of Fine Arts program in acting. This milestone marked the beginning of a transformative career dedicated to Indigenous storytelling and decolonization. Renelta founded ACPIC Theatre in 2009 a company focused on producing works that highlight Indigenous narratives and perspectives. Among her notable productions is Pawa Khan, a Plains Cree adaptation of Shakespeare's Macbeth, developed in collaboration with youth and elders from the Frog Lake Reserve. Her innovative approach to theatre earned her the Tyrone Guthrie, Derek F. Mitchell Artistic Directors Award in 2016 <clears throat> for her direction of Colleen Murphy's The Breathing Hole at the Stratford Festival where she was also the first Indigenous woman to direct. Renalta has been instrumental in decolonizing Canadian cultural institutions. She played a key role in establishing the Indigenous theatre section at the National Arts Centre, ensuring that Indigenous stories are told by Indigenous voices on a national stage. Her efforts at the Edmonton International Fringe Theatre Festival led to the creation of the Director of Indigenous Strategic Engagement position fostering more inclusive and respectful engagement with Indigenous communities. She currently works at the National Gallery of Canada under Indigenous Ways and Decolonization. One of her nominators remarks that Renelta is a pathmaker and an international voice who speaks passionately on the need for cultural safety in artistic process and Indigenous-led advocacy. Today, we honor her leadership and vision, which have paved the way for greater <clears throat> intercultural understanding and empathy. We recognize her resilience, creativity, and power to use storytelling to transform society. And we celebrate her commitment to, in the words of one of her nominators, create space and opportunity for Indigenous peoples to tell their own stories in their own way. Eminent Chancellor, with great pride and respect, I present Renelta Arluk. Renelta Lee Arluk, in recognition of inspirational contributions to decolonizing theatre as an actor and director, that have led to a fundamental shift in Indigenous settler relations in major Canadian cultural institutions. I desire to confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters and to express the hope that we shall continue to be enriched by your wise counsel for many years to come. Congratulations. prepare you for that part. Ublami Uvanga Atira Renel Tarluk. So my name is Renel Tarluk. I'm gonna get it together. And 
how grateful I am to have that opening um, by uh, um, just at a loss for a lot of words and thoughts right now, but thank you very much for that incredible introduction and that incredible grounding and, um, and welcome that we received. And congratulations to all of you. This is a huge day for a lot of us, especially you. The first inspiration that I can remember, I was four years old, playing outside near the woods. I was alone, and the sun was out, hot and bright. Then the wind blew, and clouds covered the sunlight. It became chilled, and I got goosebumps. And the wind blew through the trees, and that is where, for the first time, I heard leaves whisper to each other. All through the forest where the wind blew, I could hear leaf whispers, whispers that turned into stories and stories I wanted to hear. The second inspiration that I can viscerally recall, I was 18 years old, sitting in an arbor at an Indigenous environmental gathering near Butte, Montana. Indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island gathered, bringing awareness to the Berkeley Pit, the site of a former open pit copper mine, a lake so poisoned with arsenic and sulfuric acid, it killed birds that landed on it. And it was there I listened to a young man, no older than me, holding up a black leather bound book saying that in this book listed every indigenous nation in the United States and his people were not in it. That country that colonized him now tells him he no longer exists. I never want to be told that I never exist and we need to keep our stories alive. The third inspiration I can reminisce, I was 19 years old working at Poundmakers Lodge Treatment Center in St. Albert as an executive assistant. I was reading the Alberta Sweetgrass newspaper when I saw a half page ad announcing that Center for Indigenous Theatre in Toronto, Ontario was accepting applications to their first year round acting training program. Now this was my calling to start telling my stories. I felt it. I applied to that acting program doing a terrible rendition of Palaisia Pachnos from Thompson Highway's The Res Sisters, telling her sister Philomena Moosetail that she wanted to go to Toronto. I also sang a song terribly, and I danced okay, while a friend taped me on a VHS recorder telling me to like, do it again, you know, just in case. And I paid the postage and sent the VHS tape through the mail, hoping for the best. Well, I got in. In 1999, I drove myself from Yellowknife Northwest Territories to Toronto before the existence of Google Maps and cell phones. Gripping my steering wheel into five-lane traffic, I started my theater training in a one-room hardwood floor building with Indigenous peers and Indigenous and non-Indigenous teachers. And it was there where my fourth inspiration was revealed, my voice. Using my voice in ways I had never before, the sounds coming out of me, stories were coming to life inside of me I'd never heard or felt before, and it kept going. Synapses and ancestors colliding, and my voice kept calling, kept singing, kept breathing. Breath rolling through my body with sound, and I kept feeling. And I didn't know I could be more than what I was then, but there I was, and here I am. It was a culmination of these experiences during different times in my life that revealed who I was to be. Like the wind activating the stories through leaves, I became a storyteller. And between these inspirations exist some pretty rocky paths. I was born in the north, in a town of 1,100 people, an isolated place with no access to contemporary arts, no drama, no dance, no music lessons, especially not for me. My parents were 17 when they had me, both residential school survivors, both carrying a pain within them. Bounced from family member to family member until I lived with my grandparents in the bush. It was their love and the complexities of my parents' love that have loved me here today. On my own at 17, pursuing dead-end jobs, blind trusting loves, deviations, and overwhelming self-doubt, not to forget intergenerational trauma, imposter syndrome, which is feeling pretty elevated right now, and a little girl wondering why she isn't back in the comfort of the trees. 
Yet, there was always an inner voice that whispered to me to keep going towards the unknown, to be fearless and curious, a positive, resilient voice that never took no for an answer, always offering another way, another possibility, because I had to. Life didn't provide me with a safety net, but it did bring people into my life at times that, when I needed guidance of which I am deeply grateful. I learned that my lived experiences that could have kept me down actually helped me to succeed. And it seems art really does like conflict, especially theater, so I leaned into it. Instead of hiding these histories of myself that didn't fit well into colonial systems, I brought them with me and gave them voice. And yes, it created disruption, but it also created change. And that whisper led me to be the first Indigenous woman to graduate with a BFA acting degree here at the University of Alberta. It led me to start my theatre company, ACPIC Theatre, creating Northern Indigenous stories. It led to me to direct at the Stratford Festival, to be director of BAM Centre for Arts and Creativity, and now to be at the National Gallery of Canada. And that whisper made space not only for my voice to be heard, but now for many others as well. By listening to what is within, I remain committed to keep our stories living because I, being accountable to the peoples that steward land and water, not only in this country, but across the waters too where the oppression of peoples also exist, their stories must be heard. I'm gonna share a story with you, with you that I carry with me for moments like this. Irene Stevens, an Anishinaabek elder, used to run a fish camp. I, I wasn't there, so this story was told to me by Monique Manach, who was, also, who was there. And Monique was peeling potatoes, and this elder Irene would check on her, offering her words of encouragement like, right on, Gretzky. And I guess Monique had impressed elder Irene with her potato peeling skills, and she asked Monique to follow her to the fish station. And Monique sh shared that there were several types of fish laying there, cod, pike, trout, whitefish, pickerel. And Elder Irene then went on to teach Monique how to fillet each one of those fish to stay above the Y bone of the pike, to descale and follow the grain of the whitefish using a sharp fillet knife, to keep the knife between the meat and the ribs for trout. And she said, there's more than one way to skin a fish, Monique. And I offer that story to all of you today. For when life gets tough, remember the path to success is defined by you. And the way to success should have a jagged road that builds you as you rise. A journey to challenge your values, define your resolution, and build your capacity and empathy and perspective to grow your purpose. Yes, there is more than one way to skin a fish, and there is more, more than one way for you to tell your story. And you got this. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure I have the words to follow up on that. Uh, I, you talked about things that have inspired you. I can tell you, I hope all of, I can, I can speak for everyone here today to talk about how much you have inspired us with your words this morning, but more so with your actions and the things that you have done to bring Indigenous stories to life. And we are so grateful for everything that you're doing and will do in the future. Thank you so much. We have one more ask of you, and that's to sign our honor roll.
And that makes it official. You are now a member of the University of Alberta class of 2024. Welcome to the family. And now, graduates, it's your turn. As the name of each graduate is called to cross the stage, I will formally admit you to your degrees and will have an opportunity to congratulate you. On your journey across the stage, you will also walk past the University of Alberta Mace. It's right there in the middle of the stage. I understand that centuries ago, the Mace was a symbol of authority over life and death. And I want to assure everyone before you come up here that that is no longer the case. Today, this mace represents the life-changing power of knowledge and the importance of our university and our graduates in the community. I look forward to seeing every one of you up here on this stage. The candidates for degrees will please rise, if you're able. You will be asked to provide a spoken response for the pledge with the president, which will appear on the screen shortly. Eminent Chancellor and President, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you these scholars and ask that they be pledged and admitted to the degrees to which they are entitled. Now, to our graduates, when you reply to the pledge, I want you to raise the roof. Do you promise faithfully to observe and loyally to maintain the statutes, customs, privileges, and liberties of this, your university? Do you solemnly promise to conduct yourself in all things loyally and faithfully to the honor of your university, the encouragement of learning, and the good of your country? Well done. <laughs> By virtue of the authority vested in me by the legislature of this province and with the consent of this university, I admit you to the degrees to which you are entitled and invest you with all the powers, rights, and privileges pertaining to such degrees. I charge you to use them for the uplifting of the whole people, to inspire the human spirit, to serve your community for the public good, and to pursue more steadfastly whatsoever things are true. Please be seated. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Robert Wood and Professor Sujata Persad, I present the following graduates for the degrees in the Faculty of Arts and Faculty of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Amanda Deno. Brandy Chantel Goddard. Atticus Galvin John David Harrigan. Hun Jung Lee. Yeah. 
Rachel McGraw. Devin Jean Moore. <laughs> Jennifer Nelson. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Arts, Chunyin Chan. Si Yao Chen. Si Chen. Jaying Jia Feng. Danica Erin Freeman Lau. Ginger Han. Afraim Karim. Michaela Lorenza Lucier. Juan Camilo Martinez Garcia. Mara. Mara Kathleen McKinley. <laughs> Sam Martin Elliott Minden. Chris Chang Yen Phillips. Mona Sarhadi. Harman Tamura. Catalina Torres Benhumea. David Zhang. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Science, Natasha Lee Daly. Arya Natarajan Menon. Tyler Todd Schnoor. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Fine Arts, Lisa Ann Mays. Riddhi Patel. Benjamin William Smith. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Design, Elio Jomeri. <laughs> Stephanie Rossi. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Robert Wood, I present the following graduates for the degrees in the Faculty of Arts. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honors, the recipient of a Governor General's Silver Medal, the Dr. John McDonald Medal in Arts, 
a Rutherford Memorial Medal in English, and a Sarah Nettie Christie Prize in English, Katie Ann O'Connor with first class honors. Catherine O'Connor is one of three recipients of the Governor General's Silver Medal. The Governor General's Silver Medals are the University of Alberta's most prestigious academic awards and are donated by the Governor General of Canada. First presented in 1873 by the Earl of Dufferin, the medals recognize and encourage academic excellence across Canada. She is also this year's recipient of the Dr. John MacDonald Medal in Arts. It is given by the Faculty of Arts to the graduating student that is shown the highest distinction in scholarship in the Bachelor of Arts Honours Program. This award was endowed in the memory of Dr. John MacDonald, a former chair of the Department of Philosophy and Psychology and a former dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. And through her coursework in art history and English, Catherine developed an interest in exploring the connections between these fields. Her interdisciplinary undergraduate thesis fo focused on patchwork monstrosity and collage art and science fiction. You've got to explain to me later what, <laughs> exactly what that is. And during her degree, Catherine has had several opportunities to study abroad in Germany, Italy, and Japan through her involvement with the University of Alberta Jazz Band as a vocalist and alto saxophone player. She also volunteered at the Nina Hagerty Center for the Arts. And after graduation, Catherine will be pursuing an MFA in creative writing at Columbia University with a concentration in fiction. Congratulations, Catherine. Catherine. Wonderful, congratulations. I'm also a Columbia grad. I think you're going to love it there. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Bailey Ingrid Margaret Barty with first class honors. Daisy Madonna Brazil with first class honors. <laughs> Sarafina Kaminga with first class honors. <laughs> Anna Victoria Challoner with first class honors. Sung Un Cho with first class honors. Also receiving a certificate in archaeology, Amelia Estella Hildahl. Also receiving a certificate in archaeology and a certificate in international learning, Dominique Johnson. Mark Kim with first class honors. Sean Michael Kucher with first class honors. Kira Mackenzie Larison with first class honors. The recipient of an SW Field Prize in History, Hannah Rose Leader with first class honors. Selena Lowe with first class honors. Danny Xufang Lu with first class honors. Annika Noel Luki with first class honors. Julia Rose Edna Miller with first class honors. Olivia Grace O'Neill with first class honors. Also receiving a certificate in archaeology and a certificate in indigenous governance and partnership, Milas Fiona Pakud with first class honors. Gotem Arvind Pradeep. Recipient of a Prairie History Medal, Cadence Redding with first class honors. <laughs> Anna
Hannah Smythe with First Class Honors. <laughs> Misty Dawn Totman with First Class Honors. <laughs> Amy Caroline Weber with First Class Honors. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Salem Abraham. Egba Fenmen Omo Kefe Ahimi. Athena Arlinghouse with distinction. Mabad Ashrafizadeh with distinction. Uriel Atigla. Also receiving a certificate in sustainability, Hussein Kodor Awada with distinction. Tolu Walashe Ayo Ferin Loye. Josh Marie Franco Azarkon. Also receiving a certificate in economics, management, natural resources, energy, and the environment, Imran Mohabir Bakridi. Jude Christopher Barros. Naomi Sarah Basaraba. Jen Marilyn Batchelor. Josie Caitlin Bender with distinction. Emily Grace Berard. Jenna Kate Beeler with distinction. Recipient of a William C. Wonders Medal in Geography, Rebecca Jean Bolin with distinction. Cheyenne Destiny Boone. Bosca. Lucas Bosca. <laughs> Cassie Elizabeth Boyko. <laughs> Chelsea Elise Brandreth. Jessica Rachel Brand. <laughs> Ashley Mariah Braun with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in sustainability, Sage Tega Schmigalo Brown with distinction. <laughs> Daniel Mark Bruns. Junior Burgos. Caitlin Grace Caballo with distinction. Xin Yu Cao with distinction. Nicholas Joseph Cheatham. Xiu Chen with distinction. Yi <laughs> Xing Chen. <laughs> also receiving a certificate in international learning, Cheryl Cheng with distinction. <laughs> also receiving a certificate in innovation and entrepreneurship, Caitlin Hui Xing Chia. Blay Kedrick McRae Chikosis. Sorry. 
also receiving a certificate in international learning and a certificate in ethics, Alexandra Lynn Chorney. Sazia Mahin Chaudhary. Kiyomi Simone Oishi Kaufman with distinction. Sophie Tate Collis with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in innovation and entrepreneurship, Andrea Cruz de la Rosa. Ming Wen Sui. Xiao Rong Dang. Kristen Amanda Kathleen Davy with distinction. Vegan Stefan de Klerk with distinction. Chen Yuan Deng. Mariel Tobechuku Dike. Also receiving a certificate in archaeology, Jasper Elise Diltz. Gabriella Alana Dunn. Yukta Dutt. Sarah Mohammed Farouk El Azabi. Cassius Thirukumaran Era. Jonathan Brian Alexander Ewing with distinction. Frida Feng with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in sustainability, Shauna Marion France with distinction. Najma Ganji with distinction. Ji Xiao Gao. Yi Hang Gao. Jalita Cassie Gaspers with distinction. Joaquin Carlos Buban Gavino. Also receiving a certificate in economics, management, natural resources, energy, and the environment. Seth William Gurmscheid, with distinction. Habtom Tesfaldet Gile. Also receiving a certificate in language documentation and revitalization, Linda Jilks Vergara. Kate Nicole Grabinski. Lucas Augustus Granieri. Also receiving a certificate in sustainability, Marina Gunchiskaya with distinction. Shui Hui Guo. Artem Gurevich. Also receiving a certificate in community engagement and service learning and a certificate in international learning, Evan Heile with distinction. Martha Lynn Hamilton Lane. Jin Yao Hao. Brendan Drew Hurd. Sydney Marie Henderson. Yeah. 
Annie Brooke Heslop. Seja Grace Hinton. Also receiving a certificate in computer game development and a certificate in international learning, Jaden Ho with distinction. <laughs> Yu Shi Hong. Madison Nicole Hook. Justin Byron Howlett. Carissa Natalie Hoy with distinction. Kylin Hu. Margaret Huang. Rong Huang with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in international learning, Marina Kathleen Hume with distinction. Ying Xuan Huo. Isaac William Hurtod. Kiera Hurtubies with distinction. Griffin Hutchin with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in archaeology, Lucinia Jean Iverson. So also receiving a certificate in economics, management, national resources, energy, and the environment, Zi Yuan Jin. Uchechuku Lawrence Kabwar. Also receiving a certificate in applied social science research, recipient of a Samuel M. Strong Medal in Sociology, Vani Uday Katru, with distinction. <laughs> Megan Juliana Kennedy, with distinction. <laughs> Abigail Christine Ketza, with distinction. Ali Mohammed Kawaja. <laughs> Ju Young Kim. <laughs> Julia Kleshik. <laughs> Chloe Yurim Ko. Yvette Evova Koleva. <laughs> Daniel Kozak. <laughs> Yao Tian Ko. <laughs> William Jared Max Kolmatiki. Serena Sarah Marilyn Kuziak. Aiden Chung Hei Kwan. Christina Joy Kwok. Damian Richard Lahatch with distinction. Toluwalase, Oluwakayode, Lajide. <laughs> Ipeng Lan. Also receiving a certificate in European Studies, Abby Lauder. <laughs> Matthew Lebon Volia. Chang Hyun Lee. Yeah. 
Hilson J. Leung. Also receiving a certificate in international learning, Jin Ching Lee. Ruo Han Li. Also receiving a certificate in translation studies, Gracely Lois Licardo. <laughs> Kurt Wayland Lightning. Elena Liu. Tina Liu with distinction. Guanjin Lu. Maureen Janet Luckwell. Sophia Isabel Lugo Velasco. Taylor Lee Lundstrom with distinction. Sarah Catherine Limburner with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in international learning, Cody Allen Thomas McAway with distinction. Jin David Lam Ma. Claire Maria Manning with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in European Studies and a certificate in International Learning, Katie Nicole Matthews. <laughs> Phoenix Jade McIver. <laughs> Taylor Ann Mitchell with distinction. <laughs> Isabel Grace Morrison. Neve Grace Murray. Taya Nawaj. Maryam Neka. Taylor Marie Nichols with distinction. Lola Oberhegemann with distinction. Ethan Obanye. <laughs> Nolan Ryan O'Donovan. Okay. Ethan Matthew Ocken with distinction. Tyler Kyle Olson. Aliyah Omar. Rave Jacinda Osinchuk. Joshua Nicholas Poliak with distinction. Rebecca Jean Penner with distinction. Yeah. Owen William Perry. Patrick. Also receiving a certificate in computer game development, Max Petrick. Uh, also receiving a certificate in archaeology, Rebecca Emily Lana Plouf. Joshua Podolas. Anna Florence Pollard with distinction. Samantha Mary Power.
Christina Chu. Georgia Reese Quinlan with distinction. Emily Queering with distinction. Iman Saqib Qureshi, also receiving a certificate in computer game development. Also receiving a certificate in sustainability, Hannah Grace Rennie with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in computer game development, Thea Romanzin with distinction. Carly Alexis Desiree Ross with distinction. Megan Rush. Peter Vasilev Sabotilov with distinction. Bree Show. Noah Sharon with distinction. You set the record for, the, for today, Noah. Ava Winter Shepherd with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in international learning, Izzy Justina Ann Shepak with distinction. Cody Eric Sorensen with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in sustainability, Carla May Soriano. Colby Christian Stang. <laughs> Kayla Marie Stephenson with distinction. <laughs> Caitlin Marie Stratton with distinction. <laughs> Wei Xia Sun with distinction. Yao Sun. Also receiving a certificate in international learning, Chao Rio Sual. Carson Tang with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in applied social science research, Caitlin Ashley Tilum with distinction. Megan Grace Tui. Yorgos Thanos Tsuis, Tsunis, that is. Midori Isabella Yoshiko Suyaki, with distinction. Also receiving a certificate in international learning, Trisha May Hao Tuban with distinction. Adria Rosanna Veldkamp with distinction. Sarah Mackenzie Vo. Mason Roberta von der Oki with distinction. Caitlin Stephanie Rose Wabick with distinction. Lu Yao Wang. Yao Wang. Yashin Wang. Yi Ting Wang. Yi Tong Wang. Yi 
Yue Wang with distinction. Brittany Joy Weston. Joelle Alois White with distinction. Noah Franklin White. Also receiving a certificate in language documentation and revitalization, Amber Celeste Weeb with distinction. Dana Wilson with distinction. Wu Xuan Wu. Zhang Chong Wu. Emma Jane Allen Wushki. Also receiving a certificate in international learning, Bohan Chia. Wen Chi Shu with distinction. Ting He Yen. Ting He Yen. Yaroshak. Madison Jean Yaroshak. Tensho Yoshizawa. Tensho Yoshizawa. Bo Yu. Xin Yu. Xin Yu. Is it Rana? Rana Abdul Hakim Zahui. Shifan Zhang. Shifan Zhang. Grace Zhang. Jiaming Zhang. A very busy graduate receiving today a certificate in sustainability, a certificate in international learning, a certificate in global citizenship. Jimang Zhang. Kiki Zhang. Kiki Zhang with distinction. Pei Yi Zhang. Xiangqing Zhang. Zhang. Xiangqing Zhang. Yi Zhang. Yi Zhang. Ying Shi Zhou. Ying Shi Zhou. De Wei Zhou. De Wei Zhou with distinction. Kyle Zawarich. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts in Art and Design. Ricky Raj Cortez Abisamis with distinction. Ilsa Ahmed with distinction. Jesse Marjorie Bishop with distinction. Samantha Marie, Maria, that is, Friesenhan. Sakura Catherine Horton. Caitlin Nadine Konkin with distinction. David James Sun Jong Lee with distinction. <laughs> Hannah Matuzaki. <laughs> Haley Faith Petty with distinction. <laughs> Rebecca Don Podlowski with distinction. 
Addison Danielle Primo with distinction. Kelsey May Elizabeth Robinson with distinction. Cynthia Ariel Schroeder with distinction. Maria Pia Shiro Noshita. Rishko. Nicole Marie Rishko with distinction. Leila Zofalipur with distinction. Augustine. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Design, Rochelle Grace Augustine. Adriel Marie Aquino. Sarah Elizabeth Armstrong with distinction. Asif. Farhan Asif. Sydney Marie Boyce Fontaine with distinction. Sam Andrew Boyle. Harman Singh Barar. Alexa Faith Broen with distinction. Amy John Doucette. Kate Leanne Earhart with distinction. Andrea Erin Klapstein. Ashley Ya Shu Lao with distinction. Tracy Ji Ching Li. Quinn Lumsden. Also receiving a certificate in sustainability, Tegan McNeil with distinction. Kelton Liara Matthews with distinction. Uh, Alvina Yanling Moy. Evan John Douglas Oliver. <laughs> Jacob Alexander Palmer. Oliver Sullivan Parsons with distinction. Fajardo. Joel Eduardo Rodriguez Fajardo. Ambrel Leanne Rowe. Autumn Elizabeth Sanders with distinction. Rachel Autumn Shuck with distinction. <laughs> Catherine Winifred Shaw with distinction. <laughs> Axel, Axel Elliot Striner with distinction. <laughs> Imeng Tong. Also receiving a certificate in computer game development, Pei Lin Wu with distinction. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts in Drama. Lily Rachel Lorna Davies with distinction. <laughs> Jordan Marjorie Empson with distinction. Recipient of a Charles Gale Memorial Scholarship in Drama, Mark Ferdinand Guerrero with distinction. Spencer Joseph Kells with distinction. Alexander James Scott Mahone with distinction.
Isabel Mariange Martinez with distinction. Elise Roselle with distinction. Recipient of a Charles Gale Memorial Scholarship in Music, Max. Maxwell Douglas Vaselli with distinction. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Studies, Alison Marie Clark with distinction. Tang Xiang Liu. Tang Xiang Liu. Wangani Chimwewe Mantali, also receiving a certificate in sustainability. And Claire Rhiannon Nickerson with distinction. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you the remaining scholars whose names appear in the convocation program, but who are not in attendance. So to our graduates, you made it, and to family and friends, I think this moment merits a standing ovation, so please join me. And to our graduates, you're so enthusiastic, you've already anticipated what I'm going to ask you to do, but I suggest you turn around and a standing ovation for your family and friends who sustained you through this journey. Uh, please be seated. And so now it's time to turn our attention to the final part of today's ceremony. And before you are formally welcomed into the University of Alberta Alumni Association, I invite you to watch the screens for the presentation of a special video montage. And the song that accompanies the video, Je te retrouve, or I remember you, was commissioned by Campus Saint-Jean in 2008 in honor of the university's centenary. It captures, I think, the hopefulness and potential of days spent at the university, and I hope it will spark many of your own memories of your time here. And the song is also a display of many of U of A's talents. It was composed by Professor Emeritus and Honorary Degree recipient, Dr. Franz levasseur Wimet, and was arranged by U of A alumnus, Dr. Alan Bevan. And the recording is performed by Carel Saint-Jean under the direction of Laurie Fagnon, and I have to tell you, I love this video. It always brings a tear to my eye. I think you're gonna love it too.
Eminent Chancellor. Thank you, merci. To the graduating class of 2024, you have shown incredible resiliency, drive, and determination to be here today. Congratulations and welcome. My name is Susan Craig Baganek, and I graduated from the University of Alberta 35 years ago in 1989 from the Faculty of Arts. It is my honor to congratulate you on becoming a U of A alumnus and officially welcome you to our alumni family. We are more than 300,000 strong, living in some 140 countries across the world. We are a supportive, proud, diverse global network, collectively making extraordinary contributions to the alumni community, the university, and for the public good. Together, we are change makers, community builders, world shapers. Throughout the history of the university, our world has faced many challenges. And when we stand together, we can generate the solutions that make us healthier, safer, stronger, and more just. We will always be seeking, always be challenging, and most of all, always be leading. Like our university, our alumni lead with purpose. Felicitations et bonne chance. Congratulations and best wishes in all your future endeavors. In closing, I'd like to offer a few words of thanks. First of all, to Dr. Renelta Arluk. Thank you once again for sharing your story, your words, and your wisdom with our university family. I, it is memorable. Uh, you're an inspiring example of leadership, service, and accomplishment. And in accepting our honorary degree, you bring great honor to the University of Alberta. Thank you so much. I also want to thank our distinguished and talented vocalist, Jin Yu, and our outstanding convocation band under the direction of Dr. Thomas Dust. They're down there. And not surprisingly, there is a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes to organize events like this morning's. So I want to acknowledge the hard work of the Office of the Registrar and the Office of the Senate for their organization of today's convocation. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to invite everybody to stay after the ceremony and extend the congratulations to our graduating class. There's some space over there for photos, or I think it's a sunny day out there. It's a nice day to be outside, and I think the Students' Union outdoor patio might be open. As this is my last convocation as chancellor, I want to extend a special thanks to all of you, to the board, the faculty, staff, and administration, and especially to the students for the truly memorable gift of serving as the university's chancellor. I am overwhelmed with gratitude for the four years I've spent as chancellor. It has reaffirmed my, reaffirmed my strong belief that despite the complexities of this university and the trials that we have faced, it truly is an amazing place. Together, the people at our university define the future for our province and our country. We prepare the leaders for tomorrow. We're a place of ideas, conversations, and debates. We discover things that change the world and make it a better place. And making our world a better place is perhaps more urgent than ever. In his book, Story Messenger, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's an American astrophysicist, author, and science communicator, says, and I quote, people no longer know who or what to trust. We sow hatred of others fueled by what we think is true or what we want to be true without regard to what is true. We're quick with acts of aggression and slow with acts of kindness. All of us here today, and especially all of you who are graduating today, have an opportunity, and I will say a responsibility, to change that. 
to uphold the university's commitment to pursue whatsoever things are true, to believe that better things are possible and do everything in our power to make it so, to open our minds and our hearts to those with different perspectives, different beliefs, and different ways of being and knowing, and close our minds and our eyes to untruths, to conspiracies, to propaganda, whatever its source, and most importantly, to be quick with acts of kindness and slow with acts of aggression. People repeatedly ask me what's the best part about being, con about, uh, being the chancellor, and my unequivocal answer is always convocation. Seeing our graduates today and congratulating each of you as you cross the stage fills me with hope, with inspiration and confidence that the future is in good hands. Your convocation today symbolizes what we can achieve together, how we can uplift the whole people, how we can continue to explore, and more importantly than ever, how we can steadfastly pursue the truth. All of that is possible when we unleash the creativity, energy, ideas and compassion of the students who are graduating today and will lead the way for tomorrow. As you graduate today, I hope you remember that you are leaving our university not only with a degree, but with the opportunity and the responsibility to do everything you can to make our families, our communities, and, a world, and our world a better place. And we're counting on you to do that. I hope you feel incredibly proud of what you've accomplished in your years at our university. In turn, we are incredibly proud of all of you, our newest graduates. Whatever path you choose, I can assure you that the University of Alberta will be here cheering you on from the sidelines as each of you pursues your next hopes and dreams. Thank you so much for the work you've done so far, and thank you for the work I know you will do in the future. Enjoy your celebration, and yes, let's go Oilers. Tonight, we've got to do it. <laughs>